So let's just tune a unison here. Now the thing is, the criteria for tuning a unison is to have no beating upper partials. If you can't hear them beating, you won't know. This is no good. And I'm going to add, at the end of this video, I'm going to add uh, a filtering of that note so that you know what I'm saying and what I'm hearing when I say it is no good. What is good? What am I listening for? Upper partials. All of those individually listening for each one to see if it's beating or not. So we're going to take that one and we're going to measure it at the end just to see what is it that I'm hearing. The other thing, that's for unisons. Like all of that time I was listening and I wasn't stopping. You might have said, well, why does he keep tuning it? Because I remember listening to a concert level technician tuning unisons and thinking to myself, why isn't he stopping? He's taking all this time. It's because he could hear these higher partials that were not still. They were not not beating. He could hear that. So if you can hear there's partials beating, you're not done. If you can't hear them, then you don't know you're not done if the unison is out of tune. So this is a real problem. A real problem and it's the number one thing that's keeping people down. Keeping them from getting better because they just don't know. And in this day and age, very few people are actually reaching out to get feedback. I don't know why. Perhaps because the general population doesn't know the difference. So piano technicians, some of them are thinking, why, why do I have to try and get better? Number one, I don't know I need to get better. Number two, my customers don't know I need to get better. So what's the problem? If you're the kind of technician who wants to be the best that they can be and knows that there's some things that you don't know, then this is what you need to work on. And the number one way to know you need to work on it is to get feedback. So I've got tons of resources. I've got online tests, hearing tests. I've got methods that you can use using Ocean Audio that will get you the feedback you need. Either the positive feedback saying that you are doing a great job of tuning unisons and intervals, or the constructive feedback that says, you know what, you thought those unisons were clean, but actually they're not. And we're going to listen at the end of this video where I play for you the unison that a lot of people send me. A lot of students send me these unisons and they're saying, here's my clean unison. And I can show you how to take that recording and find out for yourself instead of waiting for me to tell you or to show you. You can do it for yourself. And then also show you the unison that I tuned and what I'm listening for and why did I finally stop and why I didn't stop earlier because I could hear and I want you to hear what I hear. I'll use the ocean audio at the end of this video, but with training, I want you to be able to hear what I hear without any assistance, just with your own ears. And that's the goal.